this is this is not going to work hello everyone and welcome back to the youtube channel i am Rudolph Labsi. if you are here for the first time i would need you to smash that subscribe button okay so i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers before the end of this year let's have a long way to go okay so your subscription is so important to me all right so today's video is going to be very short on talk about how to verify your id on coursera there are some courses on coursera where they need you to verify your id there are other courses that you don't necessarily have to verify your id you only need to verify your name right so for those courses where you need to verify your id there's no way you can progress or complete your course if you don't verify it there are different options for you to perform there are options you use your national passport the driver's license a voter's card or your national id card for some reason you do not have an international passport or you don't have a driver's license or you don't have a voter's card you can opt out for national id card and that, that's like the easiest one because it's actually mandatory for you to have an nia number in nigeria right so national id card is like the most accessible for anybody to get and for anybody to use that's i'm going to use that as an example the nin temporary slip that was given to you when you registered for your national identification number you can't use it because it's very long right so this is it this is what it looks like it is very long so once you log on to your coursera profile and you go to the settings you see the option for you to verify your id and they bring out the different options for you then you click on national id card right and then you want to use your nin slip but it's actually very long, right? Because they would, they would actually expect you to capture the NIN slip and the NIN slip is very long. So it's longer than the frame that you would see when you're trying to verify your ID on Coursera. What you want to do, as opposed to using this, because they will not accept this, because number one, it's not legible. Number two, it's in black and white. Number three, it's longer than the frame that you would see on Coursera. This is, this is not going to work. What you have to do is you have to go in your app store or your play store and search for NIMC app. So I'm going to attach a screenshot of the app up here just so you are downloading the right application. Once you have installed the NIMC app, you'll be able to download a soft copy or a digital copy of this NIMC, right? Um, now, what you are going to do after you downloaded the soft copy of this NIS slip is you have to go and print it out and once you print it out you laminate it and when you print it out it's going to be shorter than this one it will be this long number two is going to be legible number three is also going to be colored so that particular copy that you printed out is going to fit the frame that Coursera provides for you to capture your national id card right so once you have printed and laminated the nin slip that you downloaded from the nimc app you can use that for your id verification on Coursera and that's just it's actually quite straightforward it's just that you may not necessarily know why Coursera is not accepting this temporary and I that everybody has it's because it's too long it's not legible and it's in black and white to reiterate what you just have to do is install the NIMC app download the soft copy of your NIN slip print it out laminate it and scan it on the Coursera app or website and voila <laughs> your ID verification is completed so it's actually quite straightforward and I hope this video has been interesting in one way I believe this is a frequently asked question on Coursera so don't forget to like Drop a comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel.